When you think of Jesus Christ, do you imagine him sitting at a restaurant with a fancy suit on as others wait hand and foot on him? Probably not. We know that according to scripture, he would be the one that would be the waiter. In fact, if that guy who was sitting at the table all decked out, everybody waiting on, if somebody spilled that plate of food or knocked over a drink, who would be there with the mop and bucket to clean it up? You see, I think that would be Jesus Christ. In fact, he makes that very point in Luke chapter 22, verse 27. He poses the question, who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? I am among you as one who serves. You see, he would be there with the mop and the bucket. He, if he was on that sailing ship, would he be the captain of that sailing ship, all dressed out in all the regalia? Or would he be the deckhand swabbing the deck? You see, I think Christ himself pointed to that very thing. In fact, that's, that's a concept of who we are to become. We are to become servants like Jesus Christ. We're to get down and swab the deck sometimes. And I think Passover, the foot washing, unleavened bread remind us of that very thing, that there's a time we need to get down on our knees and get out that mop and bucket and clean things up, and most importantly, clean up our own life. In fact, in 1 Corinthians, it talks about that very fact, that, that we're to clean up, get rid of the malice, get rid of the wickedness, and we've got to have a different perspective. We've got to be unleavened and have that unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And so when you think about it next time, next time you see a, a mop and a bucket, hopefully that very thing will come to mind because first of all, we've got to allow our Savior to clean us up through his sacrifice. And then through our repentance, you know, we can have a different outlook. And hopefully we'll be ready to man that mop and bucket and we'll be ready to serve. So let's Swab the decks. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.